Hi, welcome to Spiritual Snack. Late in the 4th century, St. Augustine wrote, You have created us for yourself, O Lord, and our hearts are restless until they rest in thee. We are designed for God. We are created for union with God. We, we are created for communion in love with God and with God that communion includes all of humanity and all of creation even. The purpose, the goal of human life is communion, a communion in love. As St. Paul writes in his letter to the Ephesians, he has made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to bring all things on heaven and on earth together in Christ, to bring all things on heaven and on earth together in Christ. One of the reasons the modern world is so prone to addictions is that we try to fill that capacity with God with something that cannot fill it. We try to fill that infinite hole in our heart with something finite and something limited. And it just doesn't work. Money cannot fill it. Another promotion cannot fill it. Another romantic relationship won't do it. Another sexual experience, another drug, another alcohol, another drink, sorry, just won't fill it. These things cannot fill the capacity within our heart for God that only God can fill. Remember, you have created us for yourself, O Lord, and our hearts are restless until they rest in thee. The lie and the delusion of our modern consumeristic society is that something finite can fill it. And that's why we always need more and more of what just doesn't work and, and of what leaves us unsatisfied. We need more and more of the things that just do not fulfill our deepest longings for, for union and for, and for love. Only God can fill the infinite space within us. Nothing less will do it. So if we are created for union with God, if the goal of human life is union with God, it's very important that we have the correct understanding of God. You cannot have a relationship with God or a healthy, you cannot have a healthy relationship with God if you do not have a healthy understanding of God. A toxic understanding of God will lead to a toxic relationship with God and with others and with all of creation. For example, a religious extremist, a fanatic, has a deficient, dangerous understanding of God. They think God is angry, punishing, violent, and therefore they become angry, punishing, and violent. If the goal of the spiritual life is union in love with God, then you can't fear God. If you think God is angry, violent and punishing, and he's going to torture, in, torture you in hell for eternity for one slip up, you're not going to love God. You're going to fear God. And fear does not lead to love. The goal of the spiritual life is love, a loving union with God. And the path to that goal is therefore love. Love leads to love. Fear does not lead to love. Jesus came to reveal to us a correct understanding of God. In the Christian understanding, Jesus is the complete, total revelation of who God is. As he says in the Gospel of John, to have seen me is to have seen the Father. To know Jesus is to know God. To know the Son is to know the Father. In the prologue it says to John's Gospel, No one has ever yet seen God, the only begotten Son, the one being in the bosom of the Father, he has made him known. So to know Jesus is to know God. And Jesus reveals to us a God who is all mercy, all forgiveness, all compassion, and all goodness. And to know this God is, is life-giving, is salvation. 
Jesus reveals to us a God who serves us, a God who gets on his knees and washes our feet, a humble God, a God who reaches out to the poor, the suffering and the excluded, a God who heals the sick, eats and drinks with the sinner. And that's why he taught us to go, to call God Father. I will develop these themes in later videos. Thank you for listening.